What's the crack lads? What is going on? We are back with our ultimate training guides. So welcome to the channel if you are new, if you are a regular. And I just noticed as well, lads, what does Van Nistelrooy have on there in his chest? It looks like he's got a like a GPS on his chest or something. Just the angle. But it's a weird one. But anyway, uh, we are going to start off with Van de Man, lads. This guy goes to a 98 overall, but we've got two different versions of him. Uh, he will go to 100 overall with the team playstyle boost, but the two versions that we're going to have are going to be very different, but they are going to be both 97 overall rated players. So don't get too bogged down with the auto allocation. Don't get too bogged down with the overall uh, rating of this player. He is an absolute beast. Um, and from everyone that I know that uses him, he's extremely good on the ball when you get the ball with him, even though he doesn't have the best dribbling. And what I mean by that is it's not so much his dribbling, like running with the ball. It's more so got to do with the fact that he's got really good player skills. And of course, the shooting skills, the one touch pass and the low lofted pass will mean that you don't really need to boost up his passing that much. If you've got a center forward that has got one touch pass, you don't need to train up his passing. Because look, at the end of the day, when you pass the ball to your center forward, unless he's a deep line um, striker or deep line forward or playmaker type role that you're having him like Messi coming deep or Burkamp coming deep getting the ball collecting it and spinning away with it and either passing it off or else bringing others into the play then I don't think you really need to focus too much on passing but as we said he does have a load of different player skills chip shot control rising shot long range shooting acrobatic finishing first time shot and then of course he's got heading as well as Marseille turn so I actually like the look of this card I think he's kind of a different type of fox in the box than you might be used to we will have an alternative as well that I will show you towards the end but for this one to keep it sharpish we are going to be heading over to eFootball DB and I'm going to show you the two versions of him that we've trained up so the first one that we have, lads, is going to be your run-of-the-mill kind of in-the-box finisher, right? We're not going to focus anything on passing or dribbling. We are literally just going to max out his offensive awareness, his acceleration, his balance, and his finishing as high as we can, as high as we can with 12 into finishing, 12 into dexterity, and then 9 into aerial strength. Now, look, I genuinely do think that 95 plus is ludicrous with a striker. I mean, I can finish... Um, you know, you can finish and anybody can really finish once you get a good chance opened up for you. You can finish with 80 overall in the finishing. So I do think that the finishing stat and the shooting stat is is kind of personal to you um, because you have to remember as well, yes, curl is important, but it's not as important, say, as in my opinion, as maybe the likes of offensive awareness or something like that. So, you know, potentially, if you wanted to get Van Nistelrooy with 90 finishing, right, and pretty much with the boost have 90 acceleration as well you could do that where he's going to have 98 offensive awareness he's going to get the boost with his form arrow and that's going to shoot up to the 90 range and you're also going to have 90 finishing so i mean that would be an incredible card to have like 98 awareness is going to get the boost 90 plus finishing with the boost header is going to be nearly 90 kick and power jump and physical contact are all going to be low 80s and then you're going you're also going to get have the acceleration 88 as I said, it is kind of subjective to how good you are at finishing. You know, you can find that sweet spot yourself, um, depending on how you would like to play with him. But literally, all this card is for, and this version, this build, this ultimate guide of him here, with type uh, A, or this option A, is going to be getting the ball into the box to him as best as you possibly can, and then obviously being able to... Um, being able to finish as quickly and as effectively as you possibly can. We're not going to focus too much, as I've said already, on the actual uh, lower body strength. We don't need speed, stamina, or anything else with this card. It is literally offensive awareness, finishing, and acceleration maxed to the nines, right? And this card is going to be, once you get the ball into the box, you are going to be shooting on sight with him, or else finishing a lot of aerial chances as well, right? Now, the second version of him that we have is another 97 rated center forward, but this is going to be a more balanced version with the main key here being his acceleration and offensive awareness. We've limited the finishing to 88 um, because I think that that's more than enough with the boost. We're going to have 90 finishing on an up form arrow. Um, you know, so more often than not, as a B form player, these legends and epic players usually are on, you know, good form arrows, right? It's very rare that you have them down. Um, and I do like this card here. 
uh, a little bit more, I would say, because of the offensive awareness, the acceleration, and the fact that we have a bit of dribbling as well. So you can see here, the main stat that we're looking for here is to get the tight possession over 74, 75. With the boost, you're going to be getting a bit of a boost to that as well. We still have header at 80, and we also have kick and power and acceleration and speed, all pretty decent. So it's a more well-balanced card. Now, as I said, lads, look, this is option A right, where you're going to max out the finishing and the aerial ability of finishing in the air, and then this one is more of a kind of, you can still run and gun a little bit, even though we don't have much passing, we can actually bring others into the game by our movement and stuff like that with the offensive awareness, you're going to be maxed out on that, so that is two different builds of him, let me know what you think of Rude, Rude by Rude Van Nistelrooy, let me know what you think of, of these training guides, and if you would um, want any more, I will be doing them as we go through it, I said about an alternative, if you look at Lukaku, okay, Lukaku has got one touch pass, he's a similar weight and height, he's also got the similar same play style in Fox in the Box, he is a left footer obviously, but he's going to have the same kind of options breaking down, so if you are used to playing with Lukaku, it'll be a seamless transition to Van Isroy. if you want to try out what Lukaku or what Van Isroy will actually play like in your squad, Fox in the Box handles a little different than the goal poacher, and lads, it is harder, to, I, I find as well, to go from playing with the likes of Romario, Mbappe, Salah, um, Son, to go into playing with Lewandowski or Haaland or Lukaku or Van Nistelrooy. It's a different type of experience, right? Throw a collar in there as well. It's a different type of experience. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. I will be back in a bit. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video.